Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving on the Finnish section of the Southern Coastal Highway. For some reason, some persons refer to this road as the St. Thomas Highway as well because it runs through St. Thomas. So this section of the highway is finished and you only get a very nice view of the highway now. So it's going to be four lanes, but only two lanes are finished. You can see the other, the two lanes on the left under construction. So this will give you an idea of what the highway is going to look like. And we're in the Grand Span area. This highway, this section of the highway runs through the Grand Span area. Now, as you know, the, this is a free road. You don't have to pay any toll to use this road. So there is no reason for persons to use the existing road. Okay, this highway, in certain parts, the highway will run along the existing road. The alignment of the highway will take into account the two existing lanes that were there before, and they'll build two additional lanes and put in a concrete barricade. So in those areas, no problem. The traffic will probably increase for those areas because you now have a highway, so more persons will come. However, at certain sections of the highway, for instance, Grand Spen, if you want to go to Grand Spen, you'd have to turn left here now. That's the Grand Spen area because the highway no longer runs through the Grand Spen area. This is a new road that has been built. So basically, it's a new alignment for the road. So when you find that happening, an area such as Grand Spen is not going to see the level of traffic that it used to see before because it's a free road so there's no reason for persons to come off this road and go through Grand Spen unless they have business to do in Grand Spen. So unfortunately, while the highway brings a lot of economic benefit for St. Thomas and the areas, these parishes, it also has adverse effects for areas like Grand Spen because the traffic is no longer going through Grand Spen. The traffic is now going on the new alignment so persons in Grand Spen have been complaining that their businesses have been affected and this happens all over the world when you change the route of a highway or a main road it, it has happened in many cases in Jamaica as well when high, the North South Highway was built it bypassed places like Fates, Penn and those were in that case that was a toll road so can you imagine a free road how much more the traffic is going to be affected for those areas that it no longer runs through so unfortunately the persons in Grand Spen are complaining about their businesses slowing down because the traffic is no longer going through that area now there is an exit that can take you to the Grand Spen area but as we said earlier there is no reason for you to come off this road unless you directly have have business to do in Grand Spen. Now the road we're currently on, the highway bypasses this road. So the, by, the highway will run to the left of this road. A new alignment has been done for the highway. So you have no reason to be driving on this road when the highway opens. And this section of the highway will probably open sometime next year. The entire highway is scheduled to be finished in 2025. And that's phase one. The Southern Coastal Highway project is two phases. Phase one is building the highway from Harborview in St. Andrew to Port Antonio in Portland, where it will connect to the Northern Coastal Highway and the Northern Coastal Highway runs from Port Antonio in Portland to Negril in Westmoreland, running along the entire stretch of the north coast of Jamaica. And then phase two of the Southern Coastal Highway will be building a highway from Negril in Westmoreland to Manchester. And these highways run along the coast of Jamaica. The Southern Coastal Highway will run along the coast and the Northern Coastal Highway which is open, up and running, runs along the coast. And that's because back in the day, the ports were the major 
the ports became the capitals of these parishes and the major towns in the country because everything was transported by a ship and so you find a lot of the main towns in Jamaica are along the coast and a lot of the parish capitals are along the coast and a lot of these towns are actually ports that were that grew into towns and eventually the capitals of the parishes At this point here on the left, the highway will take its new alignments and run to the Grand Spen area. Or by, on that road we just, where this video started, this you'll enter from here and go all the way to the new road. So that in the, at that point the highway no longer runs along the existing roadway. But So at this point now the highway will run along the existing roadway so you're going to see construction to the right of this roadway so as we said they're building it out in pieces and phases and I must say that this section of the highway is being built by China Harbor Engineering Company and although they are the main contractor for the entire highway project at certain points they have subcontracted out the work on the highway but between Harborview and the Yalos Bridge it's China Harbor Engineering Company doing the work and they're actually doing a very good job Okay, so here straight ahead now you can see the highway and it's going to bypass the area we just came through and I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but it's going to run straight across all right guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe have a good day